Hello. So, you know, we're out here occupying, but something else that I think is really important is the 2012 thing. I don't know if you've heard about that, but uh, it's been going on for over 20 years, what's been happening. And what that is, is uh, there's this guy, Joseph Coney, in Uganda, and he's been stealing kids in the night, making them kill their parents and then joined his army, the Lord's Resistance Army. Um, the boys fight, the girls are used to sex slaves. It's just really awful. And the things that make them do to people, it's just So, tonight, April 20th, um, is cover the night. I don't know if they're doing anything up here on the island about that, but I'm from Balfour. Because you're going to go out and put posters up everywhere. We're trying to raise awareness. Um, that's the first step is people being aware. And if people are aware and know what's going on, then hopefully we can get the government more active. We do have some soldiers over there now working on it. Um, but just not enough to really do anything. And at the end of this year, uh, 2012 is the deadline. Uh, we'll have to take out the soldiers and we can't do anything anymore. So, uh, there's a whole website, uh, 2012.com, and it'll just tell you different ways to get active. You know, we're not trying to be alive, we're trying to be peaceful and just make it known so that we can stop it. Um, just help those kids, if, if you research it, you'll know it's just awful. But, Okay, uh, well, it's been a while since I've been here. Um, I'm not going to talk about necessarily Occupy Wall Street as much as, as my disappointment with progressives and Democrats and anti-war groups and, and such that don't hold Obama up to the same standard that we held Bush up to. And there's a lot of things going on that he's doing the same or stepping it up. And and you just don't hear the outrage from, from our side. and. I know we need to keep the Republicans out of the office, these right-wingers and everything, and, but at the same time, what's it for if we, we sit there and have double standards? Um, I think it's time we, we, we talk about it and have him answer for the things that he's doing, just like we wanted answers from Bush. So, that's all. <laughs> well, it's time we got out of Afghanistan. And uh, it's very, very past time, actually, because we just keep on killing more people, and they keep on killing us, and what's the point? So the, uh, the best thing that uh, generals understand is how to do a strategic retreat. So re the generals had better get busy and do their strategic retreat, not only from Afghanistan, but all the other places that are killing people off because um, we need to put the sources of plowshares as they have said from millennia. That's good, I guess. On this date, I would like to call attention to the fact that 25% of the prisoners in this world are in the United States jail. America now holds a greater percentage of its people in prison than, than Russia did during during the height of the Gulag archipelago, archipelago years. Most of the people that are in prison now are on stupid, stupid drug charges. We have to change this. This is a bunch of crap. No matter how many laws you pass, no matter what you do, there's still going to be people doing drugs. You can't... The, the laws, if you made them all legal right now, the, the, the pattern of drug use would really not change one bit. Uh, it's, it's a ridiculous, absurd thing that is expunging the voting rolls of, of Democratic voters. And uh, because when you go to prison, you're not allowed to vote anymore. And it's, it's a purge, just like Russia. We are living in, in communist Russia right now. And it's, it's time to show up at the courthouse and let your voice be heard. Thank you very much. 
and I'm Allison, and uh, I just want to announce that tomorrow, Saturday, the 21st, today's the 20th, uh, tomorrow at uh, 3 to 6, we have the meeting room at the library to show Cook Brothers Exposed, and we'll start the movie at 3.30. You're welcome to come at 3. I think I can guarantee refreshments. I will try to come up with that. And uh, it would be great if you can come, and then if you see the movie and you think other people should see it, you can tell them about it, because it's going to be shown again. It's going to be shown again at the library, in the main part of the library, because they're sponsoring it this time, the 29th, which is Sunday, a week from this Sunday. So uh, come uh, see the see the uh, sneak preview and tell all your friends and, and they can all come on Sunday. They have a message. Okay, thank you. Um, you may have noticed there's a plan that's uh, been approved, that's been uh, endorsed by uh, the presumptive Republican president and and most congressional members, most Republican members of Congress, called the Ryan Plan. Well, this is a plan to balance the budget and eliminate deficits and, and the national debt. However, if you look at what the plan actually says, um, it's a plan to essentially cut Medicaid and other unspecified programs uh, right to the bone, food stamps, uh, many, all social safety net programs right to the bone. Now, of course, most people look at Medicaid as a welfare program for people that can't afford health insurance. Actually, more than half of Medicaid goes to pay for people in nursing homes and people on life support who are, are completely disabled. Uh, if you cut Medicare rights to the bone, you're going to put between 13 million and 27 million more people than, than are already without insurance. You're going to add that many more people to those roles. Um, you're also going to put old ladies out of their nursing homes, and you're going to be unplugging people from their life support. You choose. Um, it's also interesting to note that the Ryan plan, even though it says <coughs> It, it counts itself as a uh, deficit reduction plan. In fact, it does nothing about the deficit for 30 years. Instead, what it does is it gives even greater tax breaks over and above the Bush tax cuts to millionaires, and that's where all the money goes that's saved on those programs. Again, it doesn't touch the deficit for 30 years. Um, if you really want to do something about the budget and, and the deficit, uh, and, and something about the economy and jobs, let me give you a few ideas how to do that. First of all, you need a, a, a massive government program to do something uh, uh, about the infrastructure in this country. That's the proverbial roads and bridges, but it's also uh, transportation networks, communication networks, Washington State ferry system, railroad systems, there are many, many aspects of uh, American infrastructure that are absolutely going to the dogs. And, and the way to deal with this is for the government to let contracts to companies to do something about this. Um, letting those contracts are going to create a tremendous amount of business activity, and that's going to put a lot of people back to work. Once those people start spending the money from the paychecks they earn on that, it's going to generate still more business activity. Uh, the best thing about this is, yes, you have to borrow money to do this, but that's short-term money. You borrow, and, it, and it's fixed in a, in a near short term, two to five years. Okay? After that, you don't have to spend, you don't have to continue uh, hitting the national debt with, with additional borrowing because it's, the, the economy is going to grow because of all that uh, extra business activity and all those people put the work. And you can you think that that borrowing, the increased revenue, income revenue from all those people getting paychecks that aren't getting them now is going to help lower that deficit. 
Uh, I compare this to the Ryan plan, which offers tax cuts. Tax cuts are permanent. Tax cuts reduce uh, government, rev government revenue permanently unless you take them away, which uh, uh, it doesn't look like we're going to take tax cuts away anytime soon. Well, I don't know about So that. they are a permanent hit to the deficit, whereas borrowing to generate to, to uh, stimulate the economy in the short term is only a temporary hit. Now, I ask you which one is better, a, a few hundreds of billions of dollars in the near term or or hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars forever, okay, which is which is the, the, the best way to do it. Uh, the second aspect of that would be a complete overhaul uh, of the tax reform system with the objective of balancing uh, income and outcome. Over the long haul, and of course, everybody no wants no something no approximating at least no a balanced no budget. You don't want I was a permanently uh, must-always-be-balanced budget no, because uh, you're going to have lean years and fat years. The objective is for the, for the fat to, to balance out the lean. If you don't have that, then when you have uh, uh, business cycle the very uh, recessions and whatnot, I had heard so much of you, you don't have to stop government in the tracks until the economy recovers. You can run money, a deficit for a while, and you can, uh, then that should go back to surplus like it did during the Clinton I could get on 9-11. Um, every, every second of all, or third of all, uh, <laughs> need a program to deal with massive private debt. This, this includes... Said, no. this, Largely happened in the but bubble when people were using their homes as ATM machines, and people have accrued a tremendous amount of debt, which has strangled in the current economy consumer spending, which is why business activity is down, employment's down, and government revenue are all down. Um, well, they so, so what the government needs to do is institute a program which is a combination of uh, encouraging write-downs of existing underwater mortgages so, so that people's houses are not worth uh, much less than are still owed up. Um, and also, uh, in that in combination with uh, reducing the interest rates to uh, on other mortgages to, so that the payments are at a reasonable rate. And last but not least, those that can't be salvaged through those uh, methods, a program uh, whereby repossessed uh, homes could be uh, leased back at long term to the, the people occupying, so at least they're not out on the street. A combination of that, that lower uh, uh, existing private debt that's going to uh, help regenerate consumer spending. Uh, lastly, we need to be encouraging the Federal Reserve not only to continue its, its expansionary uh, monetary policies for the near term, at least until employment and, and uh, economic growth uh, return to decent levels, but we also need to encourage the uh, Federal Reserve to raise its target inflation rate. Right now, it is a very low 2%. I know that everyone thinks inflation is a bad thing, and in large numbers in normal times, it is a bad thing. However, being that one of our biggest problems is the massive amount of private debt, one way to get relief on that is to have a little bit higher inflation over time than uh, over a period of five years or ten years, the debt burden that you have rapidly decreases compared to your income. As long as they can keep that under control, keep that target a little bit higher, until again we achieve reasonable growth and reasonable rate of employment, uh, that will help you make those problems. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here at Friday Harbor. Encourage you to encourage your elected representatives and the president of the United States to take up uh, an economic program. And uh, with uh, some or all of these points, and rather turn this, this country to prosperity and sanity. Have a great day.
the citizens' effort to take back our democracy from corporate money is ongoing, and it's all over the country. Move to Amend has just passed another state resolution in Vermont to overturn Citizens United to say that corporations are not people with constitutional protections and that speech is not money. And every little community that I know of around the country is working on this very same thing, and it's all grassroots citizen activism. So it does matter that we get out and that we do whatever little part we can like this to make a difference. Thank you. And the thing is, they were trying to go Mark for justice. Remember, he, he's trying to keep us out of the country. And they tried to ban them out. And they tried to ban them out.